Automation just got a whole lot easier with Okta workflows. Our identity-centric, no-code flow automation is changing the face of identity, and powering Okta workflows is its connectors. Welcome to our connector series where we take an in-depth look into our workflow connectors. Let's get started. Welcome to the special edition of our connector series. Today, we're not going to focus on one specific connector. Instead, we're going to take a look at a ton of updates that have landed in Octo Workflows within the past few weeks. But before we get there, I want to share with you how you can request additional connectors or cards. Take a look. The new feature process in Octo Workflows can be best thought of as a cycle. A cycle that starts with you. Say you're using a connector, and you're going through the cards and you come up with a great idea for a card that doesn't exist. Simply scroll down to the bottom of the card list and you'll see the option to submit your idea. Once submitted, that idea goes to the Okta product management team where it's prioritized. Then it's built by our engineers and before you know it, the new card exists in Okta workflows. Here's a look at some of the cool new features that have been created based on your input. For the Okta connector, we added some changes to the app actions. The first one of those changes is streaming actions for user searches. This allows the results of user searches to stream directly into a child flow, eliminating any issues hit when reaching 10,000 records. We also added support for the linked objects API with the ability to set, read, and delete object values from within a flow. On the event side of the Okta connector, we now support MFA actions such as user MFA, factor activated or deactivated, and factor reset. Additionally, we now support events for app related actions such as create, update, delete, and deactivate. And finally, password imports is now a supported event type. In the realm of connector updates, you can now archive users in the Google Workspace Admin Connector, as well as manage calendar users and search rooms in the Google Calendar Connector. And we've also added file support for a few connectors. File support allows you to upload and download files through the connector. Today, we support Google Drive, ServiceNow, and Zendesk. Let's take a look at how you can use it in a flow. In this demo, we're using the Google Drive connector to perform operations on a shared drive. For this flow, when we create a new user, we'll create a new folder as well as upload a welcome letter for that employee. You can see here we currently have no employees. Let's jump over to the flow in Okta Workflows. Here we can see a child flow that creates the folder and downloads a file with every user creation. It also emails the new employee. Let's run this and take a look at the flow history. We can see that the flow ran and the folder was created and the file was downloaded. Jump back into Drive and we can now see that we have a new employee folder and the welcome letter was sent to that employee. In addition to file support, we also expanded the connectors for OneTrust and Evident ID. You can now execute tasks tied to consumer data privacy requests and automate the end-to-end -end ID proofing process. And finally, we also launched a completely new connector for fresh service. To learn more about these updates, be sure to check out help.octa.com and click on workflows. Thanks for watching.